All right, y'all, he's opening the gate. We fixing to break day in South Carolina. We eased around a little bit before dark yesterday and saw some turkeys. I'm really thinking we're gonna be in business this morning, but it's a beautiful, clear morning, high 30s. Should be interesting. This morning, we know we are in turkeys. We saw turkeys right here yesterday afternoon. Thought I heard one walking. They just didn't gobble this morning. So we got the decoy set up here in this cattle pasture. I believe it's gonna be on in a little while. We are tucked in here tight. Trimmed a bunch of cedar limbs. It's gonna be interesting because they're gonna be right on top of us when they get here. But this is gonna be fun. I think we're gonna take a nap. We're pretty early.
Thank you, brother. sunshine on me. You did too. <laughs> yeah. It's longer than I thought it was. Yeah, that was the biggest one. He actually got a little more spur than I thought. I yeah. thought he was just gonna have nubs. That's a pretty bird. He's beautiful, man. Beautiful. South Carolina, baby. That ain't no Jake. That's a full fan, yeah. man. I say he's a first year goblin bird. Heck yeah. What about them others? They all about the same age. Heck yeah. That was that bunch we seen yesterday eating. Over them. the hill. Over the hill. Golly. I love that. And I'm hurting. All right, y'all. Yesterday evening, there's a pasture right over there. We saw a group of birds. And then we drove in the farm truck on top of the hill. And and I think this group of birds we just got on was, there's my finger, right over that hill. So we snuck in here early. We've been here two or three hours. Trimmed us out a good spot right there. Robert was laying on his belly by that fence post. I was sleeping right there and I looked through this cedar tree and one had done snuck right here. He wasn't seven, eight yards and then here come the others. And here's what we got. Long beard in South Carolina. We had the Jake and the uh, hen right there. And they couldn't come no prettier than that. It was beautiful. But man, that thing, they was standing about right here, wasn't they? Yeah. Five, F yards. five yards. And I'm trying to get, I had no cameras on at that time or nothing. Golly. Flat smoked it. It too. smoked it. Man, my big finger that goes on top of the gun smoked me right in the lip but I'll, I'll take that all the way back to Alabama you know you're gonna be hunting with a complete cripple did you <laughs> well, it takes one to know one look at that look at that heck yeah took us See, I got up at four this morning. We started, what, about six? Yeah. It's three o'clock, that's nine hours. Nine hours, but we got her done. First day in South Carolina. First day. Golly, thank you so much. That's awesome. I told you you'd come see me when we get you. I know you about done quit, but I appreciate that. Brought me out of retirement. You can just tell old Jennifer, she can get ready for a big buck. <laughs> All right, y'all, so Roberts, he went to get the truck. He can drive all the way down here in the pasture. I tell you what, just blessed. And it, it's crazy. I'm, I'm always a little leery about who I meet and who I talk to from YouTube. But he got my number from a pretty good source from the from the hog trapping world and, and called me and asked. The guy called me and asked me if he could call him. And, and uh, anyway, it was... I wasn't even thinking about turkey hunting. He wants to breed to my dogs. He's a big hog hunter. And I said, man, yeah, we can breed them dogs. Whatever you want to do after I, you know, talk to him for a while. And he said, I know you wanting to kill a turkey in every state. He said, come on up here. So we kept putting it together and finally did. I didn't, I didn't have but a day to do this. Uh, I got something I need to do with Cody tomorrow afternoon. And he said, man, can you hunt one more morning? 
I said, I probably can because the time changes out here. I said, I could probably hunt for a little while and uh, hustle on back and take care of Cody. And uh, I said, we're going to get it done this afternoon. I said, let's get in there early on them field. Where we was at this morning is turkeys. I mean, tracks and stuff everywhere. They just ain't said a word. We actually had a long beard track in our boot track from this morning. But anyway, I said, let's come over here. I, field birds will make you mad, but in the afternoon, you get in here and get brushed in like we were. And uh, I don't mind the decoys. You know, a lot of times around the house, I don't tote them. But this is a case I had called two or three times, but they probably didn't ever hear it. They come out down there at that end. They was cruising this sage, eating this clover. It's a beautiful pasture. Got kind of a natural clover in it. And uh, I had that cedar tree in front of me real good. We started trimming. I said, no, let's leave it. I said, I need that. And this one, that first bird, I thought they was all Jake's. I really did. And this one had the longest beard. And uh, Jake's legal up here. I really didn't want to do it. He said, whatever's legal. And he said he had whispered to me there's all legal birds. And I didn't hear him. I was locked in trying to get two cameras. I think I got two cameras on. And uh, anyway... But anyway, this is a full fan turkey, so I'm even happier. I don't know about the others. This one had the longest beard. I'm, I'm afraid the mothers may have been had Jake fans, but regardless, that's a, that's a tough hunt right there when you're sitting there. I had my arms crossed, gun across my lap. I had already got the camera on the decoys. I'm pretty sure it was on there because I figured that's what would happen. Just thank goodness I think I got everything on. I just, when they got up around that decoy, I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the camera on or I'm gonna spook them, and I thought I had enough cover there, and I'm looking now, it, it was close, but we pulled it off. One of them, was, when he was about five yards, he was, I think he was looking at my eyeball. I just kinda had my head turn like that with my eyes closed for a second, but just a super family here. This will turn into like the guys from New York, New York, just a super friendship. I stayed in this guy's mama and daddy's old house that was built back in the 1800s last night and just super nice i got up about 4 30 this morning his dad was up he was drinking coffee we was on the porch and i was drinking a dr pepper and i mean it just it's a chance sometimes you take but after you talk to somebody for as long as we've talked back and forth he texts me and you know how's cody doing in his game today you know just super folks i met his wife and his kids last night and his wife loves to deer hunt, so I told him a while ago, I said, you just make sure we plan this. She's going to get her a big deer. And uh, that's just the way, the way I'm on work. He wants to breed my dogs, and I may lay, raise a litter of puppies for him, but uh, I, now I want, I want to do something for him. The, the dog stuff's one thing, but the deer and turkeys, you know, nowadays what I do, I know what it'll mean to his wife, and that's what we're going to do now. Anyway, he's gone to get the truck, and we got to take some pictures and everything. And uh, let's see what time it is. It's 3.15 their time, 2.15 hours. So I'm sure I'm fixing to get back and uh, probably jump in the Lexus and head back to Alabama and probably try. I'll be late, but I'll try to break daylight at the house in the morning. You know, we don't want to miss a day, but anyway, at least we'll take our time and get back. We got a bird. Got us a South Carolina bird. I love it, y'all. Love it. All right, y'all. So me and Bobo is loaded up back in the Lexus headed west about six hours. Probably take us six and a half by the time we had to stop and pee and everything and get gas once or twice, but man, just a super trip, golly. Didn't have to sleep in the Lexus, they let me sleep in the house, big old king size bed. I was stretched out, got a good night's sleep. Oh, just been a good day. Had to pull a few little small hills this morning, a little rough on my back, but you know I was gonna keep digging and we uh we just stayed patient when the turkeys ain't gobbling like that man you just kind of gotta they had a lot of turkeys and it was pretty open just kind of had to be patient it's hard for me to be patient because I like a gobbling turkey but I've kind of done it long enough I guess that you just learn sometimes you know and it's really hard when you're when you're short on uh time 
for a set of make sure I had a set of keys in my pocket. Oh, um, when you're short on time, you just kind of gotta, kind of gotta let it unfold. I just, we just both felt like his dad had been seeing them turkeys pretty regular in that pasture checking the cows. So it's hard to sit there. It done got hot. We was kind of in the shade. Had a good little natural blind built. Took my clippers and clipped us out of spot and stuck him decoys out there. The decoys is what did it. I mean, no doubt. No. Uh, we might have seen them or whatever, but they was hugging that fence line so tight. I mean, that first turkey was, we figured, about five to seven yards. And then they finally got locked in on the decoy and went up there. It had been, because I had my hands crossed and no cameras on. I'm still not sure what I got. I won't know till I edit it. But I know they was in the viewfinder if I hit the uh, record button. I know I had my gun camera on. I'm pretty sure. Golly. It was... Uh, tricky to say the least. I had to, the way my gun was laying in my lap, I had to kind of pull it back, pick it up, stick it through the barbed wire fence. And it was tricky. Trickier, not probably not quite as tricky as you make it out to be because you're trying to make it work. We was hit pretty good, but the way that sun had done got, it was shining on us a little bit there, but a super family. Uh, probably won't be the last time you see me with, uh, with them. Just a super, super family had it's beautiful up here too uh once you kind of get off the interstate and get back in here in the country off these roads i didn't have a lick of sales service i barely got a text through the city last night to to tell them that i made it i tried to call and just wouldn't never go through so but i got to text them and tell them tell them good night and all that stuff like i like to do and uh we're gonna take our time and and he's on back to the house and if we don't hit the snooze in the morning we're probably gonna break daylight somewhere in the house but anyway i'm probably not gonna do much talking now i'm just gonna put this camera down and keep thinking about this turkey hunt i won't never forget it just to we can take south carolina off the list not saying we might not come back and come back and hunt but uh Definitely no pressure for it. Now we can look for another state. We're gonna try to do another one before the year's over if everything works out right. But anyway, appreciate y'all watching.